I'll get you out of bed in the morning. <laughs> Usually the smell of lollies. <laughs> My name is Matthew Hardy. Um, I'm the business manager here at Carousel. Uh, this is a family-run business. Had it in our family for about 40 years now. So we're a uh, confectionery manufacturer. We bring in raw sugar and we produce finished goods for both ourselves and um, some contract manufacturing. We go through about 400 ton of sugar annually and around 350 ton of glucose. So I think we're just about at the million ton mark for finished product. So being Kiwi run of course, um, that's usually a pretty good start. The products we produce are relatively iconic and have been in the market for a long time and you can't buy them anywhere else. Early days actually predate my family. So it's, it's gone through two previous owners prior to my family having it. So early memories for me are definitely running around to this property here. <laughs> Playing on the weekends while we fix machines and all that kind of jazz. I think anyone can be a global business, but it takes a little bit of guts to do it in New Zealand. Not everybody can do it. So you've got our Spaceman candy sticks, so I think just about everyone in New Zealand would know what they are. You've got our aniseed and mag wheels, so we've made those for, oh crikey, a very long time now, probably 30, 40 years. And again, just a stable diet of a Kiwi kid or a Kiwi adult these days. We've got our tangy apple chews and tangy apple grape chews, so they've been around for a long time as well. We also do a range of fudge and nougat and fizzies and yeah, a bit of everything. I would say we'd be producing close to 500,000 bags uh, in a, about a 2kg size annually. Being a low commodity good, freight's a big factor for imported confectionery. So depending on where the, the product's coming from and the time of year for shipping, it has a huge impact on the final cost of the good. For us, what we keep is usually what Kiwis like to eat. It's usually a pretty good <laughs> indicator. So I've, I've been personally in the business for about three or four years now, but we've seen a lot of changes in the way we operate and the types of business we're doing. So traditionally we've been very route trade, so focused on dairies and corner stores, but doing a lot more contract manufacturing and becoming a lot more mainstream with the types of products we produce and where we, where we put them through. We try and remain as customer focused as I can, we guess, being a New Zealand business. Communication is a big one these days as well, just with the way things go freight wise and with the cost of everything. I find what works really well for us is being upfront and honest and being ahead of the curve ball with that kind of stuff, so there's no surprises for anybody. You look at everything that's available in the market today and why not have something unique that's just in New Zealand? I mean, crikey, you can get all sorts of stuff all over the world, but if we can get something that's unique for us, then why not? 